Hi everyone and welcome. So I set myself a challenge. I wanted to try and find the cheapest radio that you can buy from AliExpress and I think I've found it. This is the Baisley KK13. It's a two band pocket radio which would you believe just cost two UK pounds or around about $2.50 US. Now you do need to add tax and shipping to that figure so that takes it to around about £4.40 or just under $5 US dollars but nonetheless a very long price for a brand new radio. Now I have reviewed a few radios from Baisley, some were okay and some were surprisingly good. Now this was just sent in the usual grey plastic bag and it took around about four weeks to arrive. So let's take a look and see what we actually get. So my first thought is just simply just to be cynical and view it simply as a poor quality, cheaply made pocket radio. But actually it would be wrong to do that. Not everyone is in the privileged position of being able to afford a decent quality radio. And in some parts of the world, $2.50, well, that's a lot of money. So instead, let's view it as a radio that allows those less fortunate than ourselves to stay in touch with world events. So what do we get? So first of all, I mentioned it's a two-band radio. So AM coverage, that's between 530 and 1700 kilohertz. FM, in fact, has got an extended coverage, and that's between 76 and 108 megahertz. And that's to take into consideration the Chinese campus radio. Now, as you can see, it's a very compact radio. It measures 52 millimeters wide, 92 millimeters high, by around about 18 millimeters deep. Just give me the old mugs up this as we always do. There you go, just for size comparison. I'm just quickly going to run through the features and then we'll take it for a test drive. So, below that tuning scale, we've got a little pair on the indicator. Or have we? More on that later on. To the left hand side, we've got a 3.5mm jack for your headphones. Now, considering the price point of this radio, that's actually a welcome inclusion. Below that, we've got a two way selector switch, selecting between FM and AM. To the right hand side, we've got our tuning thumb wheel. And then below that, we've got on off and volume control. Turning to the rear, they include a little belt clip, again a nice little inclusion considering the price point and then below that we've got our battery compartment. This takes two AAA batteries, I can imagine that they will last quite a long time in this little set. So what I'm going to do is put some batteries into it. We're going to take it for a test drive on FM first of all, and then we see how she performs on AM. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so I've put some batteries in. We're going to take it for a test drive on FM first of all. So let's pop our little aerial up. And it is little. It only measures around about 180 millimeters long. But nonetheless, let's see how we get on. Now selectivity, that's going to be a bit of an issue given that very short tuning scale. But nonetheless, let's see what sensitivity is like. I'm starting at 108 megahertz. I'm right at the very top end. I'm going to work my way down. Anything past 88 or 86 megahertz, to be honest, there's nothing transmitting. So I'll stop it around there. So let's pop it on. Let's see how we get on. Six one zero five four on the text. First word is Simon. For a slow cooked bone in British lamp radio. We're driving home with Simon Mayer. I'm not sure if you've noticed. That little LED, it's not a power on indicator, it's a tuning indicator. So that's really a nice little bonus. So let's carry on. Coming to Resorts Wild Arena, Birmingham. System, which played every band. I got it to my head, I'm sorry, I threw it away. That actually picks up quite a lot of stations. I'm actually impressed with that. Obviously, sound quality, that's going to be mediocre at best, but that's not what this is about. So, I'm going to try it now on AM. Pop our little switch down. Let's pop it on. Let's see what we can find.
and we might pick up some noise off the LED lighting, but nonetheless, let's see how we get on. To be honest, that wasn't too bad. There's not an awful lot transmitting on AM where I live, so let's now review our thoughts on this bargain price little radio. So before we go into our conclusion, I was just curious as to what was inside this little set, and as it turns out, quite a bit. And I'll try and put a decent image on the screen for you of this. We've got two ICs, as you can see. That first one, that's a C9615. And although I can't find any data sheets on the internet for this, Clearly this is one of these complete radio tuners and amplifies basically an AM FM radio on a single IC. That little amplifier is normally enough to drive a pair of headphones. In this case you can see our connection there to our headphone socket. However, what we've also got is this second IC. No markings on it. I believe that's a little audio amplifier. and Maybe enough to drive that little speaker, perhaps about 100 milliwatts, something like that. To the top, as you can see there, we've got a little ferrite aerial, that's for AM reception. And then adjacent to that, we've got our connections for our FM telescopic aerial. And if you can just about see, that's our little LED tuning indicator as well. So I'm sorry I can't give much in the way of information and specs on this, but nonetheless, I'm surprised by the level of components and the decent build quality PCB. So there you go, it's a Beijing KK13. And on one hand, it's a very cheaply made, low quality radio that lacks selectivity and any kind of sound quality. However, I prefer to view it as a way for many people in our world to purchase a radio with all the advantages and enjoyment that that brings. The extended FM coverage and the surprise of a tuning indicator makes this a very usable little pocket radio. So all it leaves me to say is, as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.